this beautiful sunny day here in Provenston. And as you can hear by that noise, my house build started. Yay, at long last. It's been four years in the making and it's finally, finally started. And uh, delighted. I've got a bit of a bug at the moment, but that's the norm these days. Anyway, let's go see what's going on. That's going to be where the walls go, isn't it? Yeah. So exciting to see it finally. It's starting to yeah. see some foundations happening. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? Oh my goodness! How deep have you gone? Are you? <laughs> well, because it's just been infill material, as in like brick and concrete. So to get into the clay, we're having to go a bit deeper. Right. And there's a bit of wood there that I see is going to have to come out. A bit of wood? Yeah, there's wood, that's oh, wood there. Oh, gosh, so, there is, yeah. It's like uh, a big plank. Yeah. Oh, sorry, so, I'm filling it all back in again. Back in the old days, they just fill everything in what they, what they could find. Back in the old days, really? they just fill in what they, they could find. That will jump over. Right. So it's good, I'm going to be... Oh, my goodness, look how deep that is. No, it's... It's, uh, like, like, so it's, it's like a moat. I could, 700, yeah. so there's 150 of concrete to go in that. So. Right, so that's that's amazing. So this that's, is... That's get, good ground, that's what you want. That's what you want. Good, good clay to get into. Whereas this bit over here is it's, not... It's not but what, I'll go underneath. Right, what, <laughs> what we don't want to do... Um, what I'm going to have to do, sorry, is take it it's deeper. Yes. And then we'll just fill it with concrete. Fill it with concrete, right. Up, up to the depth that we're needing. And I assume that... So this, this, are you, is this all coming up as well, all no, this slab? this slab stays, but this, this, this oh, is the drainage. Drainage, of course, yes, that's right. Which I'm going right. to dig at a later date. Yep, yeah, that's, that's right, that makes sense, of course. And then, right. And then it, goes, it goes into the building about here somewhere. And then and there's yeah. a pop up here which goes up through the roof eventually. I believe. That's going to be the soil vent pipe. The soil vent pipe with yep. all the nasty smells out. Yes, that's the one. Not that there's any, any nasty smells coming from me. It'll be my dog. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then this gets filled up. There's another pipe out this side here, which will come in just right next to the foundation. For and the that's area. going into the kitchen on the kitchen. other side, right, which is through that the wall side. there. Yeah. Right, okay. This is going to be, well, this area here is going to be probably the most used room in the house, I think. And this is going to be my sort of workshop, right. kind of office space. And it's hard to imagine it at the moment when you see it, yeah. but <laughs> yeah. um, but that would be lovely because you have all the views over there of the yeah. fields and everything, which will be really, really lovely. Yeah, lovely. And there'll be doors opening out onto here, so we'll obviously have like all this area. I'll do something with it, and um, the, the rubble pile will no longer be no, this, there. The slab stays because we we've got you in fill. I think your finished floor level in here's up about up there because it's coming up to meet so the this height gets of this in here. With day one and stuff. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, we're not going to use any of this rubble for that, are we? We're no, going to use. Think, see, some of it's too big. You see. That's fine. Um, <coughs> you can never use you can never use some of the brick for infill on the outside wall. Right. Is that a clay pipe there? Yes. Is yeah. that an old, what's that from? It's, it was just lying in here. So it's just a bit of it's debris? Been, yeah, it's just been flung in the ground. What uh, would that have been used for? Would that have been field drains at one point? Well, what was here before? What kind of building? Um, this was 
a stable block. Before uh, I. I don't know, this, like, I think long, long ago there was nothing in this bit. Right. Um, these two, this building and this building almost have been here a while. Yeah. And I think they were maybe, like, for cows or... I think it was probably cows that were in it. Uh -huh. Um, But this bit here was a new... Well, a newer construction of really rubbish brick that literally... I mean, it literally was... It pretty much was falling down, you right. know. It was, right. Um, because the, the brick was so wet, it yeah. literally just turned to sand. Yeah, just like So <laughs> it was actually dangerous. The building was dangerous. So I don't know if maybe that's probably pre. That would have been from before this, wouldn't it? That clay pipe. Yeah. It's, it's a proper square now. Well, like right angled. Right angles are happening. Oh, that's amazing. I feel like we should have a moat here, and I should just make it my castle. <laughs> Fill it with water. Well, Did you get the wood out okay? Yes, I. The original ground, that's the original ground as you can see. So we've yeah. had to dig that out. So it, the concrete's going to be about 100. Yeah. 100 so it cost me more say. bloody money, you mean? Because <laughs> there's more concrete. Well, I mean, <laughs> no, up there we're all right. Yeah, but needed bit. to get that. Uh -huh. I have. Right there's no ground. point me doing this and not doing it. No, right. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Do you know what I mean? No, no, um, no. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's 100 mil there, and what did you, was it 190 extra? Yeah, 190 extra. Running to just, well, it's a one. Super. That's exciting, we got a lot of motorbikes here. It's not great oh, for horses. It's really exciting to finally see it starting. I'm so delighted. So I'll take you in now to see the inside section of the house and give you a quick explanation of what's happening. I won't bore you too much because I don't want to make these vlogs too long so I'd like to try to sort of capture as much of the daily stuff as possible and get it up as regularly as I can so let's go and have a look indoors so this is the building here these two buildings this is the actual bit that's going to be the house here this is just a barn um, and it's going to have its roof redone because the roof is in a sorry state of affairs eventually I'll apply for planning and change this into living but for now it's just going to be almost it's like a garage a barn storage area and i'm going to put the heating plant and everything into it i'll take you inside it's a bit dark and i have to watch for a dirty dog because this is our favorite poo spot and as you can see in here there's quite a lot needing done there's is i call this a woodworm barn because it literally is riddled with woodworm and the roof is a mess. So this is all going to get replaced and there's some pointing and stuff that needs done to tidy this up. Um, and the heating plant's going to sit in here and there'll be a doorway through into the area outside which you can see the digging works happening in. The next part well, the house, the only access I've got into here now is in here. And this is actually going to be my bedroom. And so we have, there's already been some bits of work happening with like strengthening the walls and stuff. And this is going to be my bedroom. There's going to be a door that goes outside, which will take in this lovely view. I'll show you the view of the hills which is going to be lovely, looking out onto the horses. My heart's breaking because my boy is not going to be in that field to look at when my house is built, because sadly we lost him. Uh, I'll be able to see Cruzy though. Right, it's back into here. There's going to be an ensuite that goes into this um, end section here. So I'm busy thinking of ways to do this cleverly because it's quite a small space. So I'm thinking of putting in a mezzanine bed up around here, so it'll sit up higher, then we'll have an underneath space and possibly like a freestanding copper bath if money allows in this section with a rain shower. And then in this corner, I hope to put, so almost like a cubicle for the bath, the toilet, sorry, and then maybe put some sort of, um, frosted perspex up so you're still getting the light coming through. The doorway is going to be a full length window so you'll get quite a lot of light coming in from here. If 
open the door and that's I want to keep this open so there's some light coming from there and there'll be nice views out to the field from there. There's then a knock through into the big area of the barn, a staircase at the moment that goes up into the attic. Um, we're going to, we're not using the attic so I'll probably have some pull down ladders or something to get up to use as storage. There's going to be a window here in this door <coughs> and then up to here there's going to be a wall that comes along and goes all the way along to this side of the barn. And there'll be two rooms here, so if you can imagine sort of where my hand is, there's going to be a room from there to there, and then from here over to here, there's going to be a second bedroom, which has a window with a view out over the fields. And we're going to put pocket doors into the wall that is in this section along here. It's a sort of space saving thing. And this area in here will be my sort of dressing room, an extension to the bedroom, because there's not a huge amount of space in the in the bedroom. So then if we stand this way round, the rest of this is all going to be open. Apart from in the corner up there, there's going to be a bathroom in that corner because I have to put an accessible bathroom in to get for building regulations. So that will go in there. And then over this side, there's going to be an open plan kitchen with an island. Hoping to put a stove in the centre. I'm hoping to get a double-sided stove in. There'll be a double doorway coming through here. And then out this side, there is going to be a dorma, a sort of a dorma window built out. So it's, and that'll be sort of the sitting room area out there. And then this bit here will be an entrance through into the area that the, uh, the guys are working on just now, um, which is the workshop space so it's it's not massive it's a nice cute little build and a cozy house and it's going to be very exciting documenting it and seeing how it all progresses from this i'm looking forward to being able to say do you remember when it looked like this <laughs> and it now looks like this so um yeah oh there's that gate i was looking for that i need that because i need to get a gate for going into the back garden, which is dog height friendly to stop your brother Barlow, stop your brother jumping over the fence. This is the other side of the building and I just wanted to show you where this dormer window will come out. So it will come out here and you can see the blue lines on the ground marking where that's going to go and what I hope is to eventually put some decking coming out uh, from, from there and you can get access outside and then you've got the workshop area in here which will join into the, the woodworm barn. And what's lovely here is the views. We've got our caravan which I'm going to do up so it won't be as much of an eyesore to look at. We will decorate that, we've got some ideas for that and then hopefully we'll get, get letting the caravan for holidays. So that is my house built in a, in a nutshell. Stop swinging.